Apple is expected to announce new iPads at its May event. Rumored features include a new OLED display, screen sizes, enhanced Apple Pencil support, and an upgraded M series chip. On paper, this does not seem to be a big upgrade, but it brings up the age old question, should I upgrade? Typically, the answer comes down to how old is your current iPad and your budget. However, this does not take into account one important question. How do I use my iPad? Each new iPad released after 2018 added incremental features and designs that changed little of the main component of this device, the software. Having a mini LED display is cool and Apple Pencil hover is nice if you need to use an Apple Pencil with a compatible iPad. But if you think about how you use it, do these additions make your experience with the software any different? Features such as Stage Manager are available for the majority of iPads currently supported in iPad OS 17. However, if you have a pre-2018 iPad that does not have this feature, are you really going to spend hundreds of dollars on an iPad just so you can rearrange Windows? Most likely there are other factors that will compel you to upgrade. Some people may consider upgrading based on how long Apple will support the iPad. And that brings up another question. Do you really need the newest iPad if you are concerned with software support? iPads typically receive more than five years of software support. My 2017 iPad Pro is supported to this day. However, it may not be compatible with iPad OS 18. For my use case, watching YouTube videos, I do not see myself upgrading to any newer iPad unless it's for testing iPad OS 18 and making content about it. Even then, does it make sense for me to grab a 2024 iPad or a 2022 model? Others see the iPad USB-C port as a key reason to upgrade. Having the ability to transfer files without having to email yourself or any crazy workarounds is fantastic to the individuals who would take advantage of the port. But at that time, you can save a few hundred more dollars for a MacBook or Windows PC that will give you more versatility. iPad OS is not built for versatility when compared to Mac OS, Android, and Windows. Let's say you do decide to upgrade. Now the choice becomes a bit harder. Which iPad should you upgrade to? I propose this challenge to you. When you consider the software features between iPads, what advantages do the more expensive iPad Pros have over the non-pros. If you consume a lot of tech-related content, next week you'll undoubtedly see plenty of thumbnails with excited YouTubers with the new iPads. You may feel compelled to upgrade based on their videos. That is fine, it's your money, but you need to ask yourself the question posed at the beginning of this video. How do I use my iPad. Thank you for watching this video. It really helps me decide what types of videos you are interested in. If you do decide to upgrade to the newest iPads, how do you plan on using it? Leave any and all thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button. Consider subscribing if you are new. I will see you in the next video. Take care.